classes for fall semester in the US are about to begin and many students from you know India and all around the world are coming to the US and also going like uh, at so many different places so uh, first of all congratulations you guys did great you're doing great and I'm really really proud of you and now here are some of the tips from my side for your international travel and immigration so um, some of the tips might just be very basic but just stay here with me because I feel like there might be some of them which can be helpful or you know sometimes there are a few points that just slip out of our mind so first one is your flight so uh, just see like which flight suits the best for you and choose that accordingly um, because it's a long flight um, and also don't forget to mention your meal preference it looks a very obvious thing but I've, I've seen situations where you know you forgot to mention your meal and then you know you sometimes have dietary restrictions and you know it's a long flight so you definitely want your food otherwise you don't know what to do anymore um, so yeah don't don't miss that and then don't miss your unique baggage tag because um, trust me it's a really really long queue to get your baggage in the baggage claim uh, and sometimes you know like it's like all all bags look the same and it has literally happened with me when someone was taking my bag and um, going but I, I'm glad I, and I had a baggage tag but um, you know it's sometimes even the bag but it was like a very small little you know like a ribbon <laughs> that I tied. Um, but it was just like a but it was just like a small little ribbon that we used to do in our family like everyone would tie a ribbon and that's not a great baggage tag because a lot of people do that and also it's very small so it's not really visible so yeah have a unique baggage tag and maybe write your name and stuff also and then don't forget to carry your important documents in your carry-on baggage uh, most important is of course your passport with your visa and your i-20 because those two things they'll definitely ask and then the other supporting uh, you know like documents so what i usually did because i had two bags so one i just all the supporting documents i kept in my uh, other carry-on baggage and then my backpack i just kept my main you know like i-20 and uh, my passport um, so usually they don't ask for additional documents but just in case if they want ask for it it's a good idea to just carry them you know and carry them handy so that you can pull it and show if they ask for it and same advice that uh, we also discussed during the tips uh, for visa interview um, that don't show your documents unless they've asked for uh, just keep them but don't show any additional documents other than your i-20 and your passport and visa okay number four carry some snacks because you know sometimes you just want to munch on something uh, even with uh, when you know other than the food that you're getting so you, you should carry some of it whatever you like and then a jacket for sure and then um and then some of your important medicines that you'll need uh, carry them handy you never know when you'll need them and then also maybe a pair of additional clothes which one of you viewers actually reminded me which i forgot to mention in my previous video uh, so yeah that it's a good idea to carry that too and maybe a towel um, you know just in case uh, you need it you know in case your flight gets delayed or some other issues happen why not be prepared um, so usually uh, there are not a lot of direct flights from India to US so you know like as soon as you uh, as soon as you reach uh, your connecting you know like your intermediate airport or your or your transit airport um, I would say just you know even if you're you know it's it's not gonna take a lot of time just see what gate number or where is the gate and everything is from where you have to board your next flight you know then you're like mentally free you know everything and then after that you can easily like go relax and you know explore the airport explore the place eat take a nap whatever you know and then also i would suggest that you know uh, go here and there explore and everything but come back like 40 45 minutes uh, before the boarding starts so that you know you're not rushing and also um you know it takes a little bit of time for them to see your tickets and this and that so um yeah it's a good idea to just be there a little bit uh, before time and if you are lucky enough like what happened to me when i was coming for the first time <laughs> you'll probably don't don't have to like go here and there and you'll just rush to catch your next flight so i hope that doesn't happen with you guys um and if you haven't seen my immigration experience video you can check it out here or here either way 
and then next is of course when you're in the flight you're gonna get a uh, custom form to fill it so fill that if you have anything to disclose disclose that and don't forget to keep a pen i i, I always keep reminding keep a pen you don't want to keep asking here and there for a pen um so keep that and then you know you land and then you go in the immigration line so your picture will be taken your fingerprint will be uh, taken and stuff um, so don't get scared there if they're asking too many questions because usually they'll ask you some basic questions you know like what university you're going to study in or where you're gonna stay so just tell the address that you've mentioned you know before and then um, and then usually they ask those basic questions so don't get scared or nervous it's just you know it's it's a basic mandatory process that happens um, so yeah so don't worry too much about it just relax you know you, you already have the visa and everything so it's fine so after that is over of course you go through customs and then you collect your baggage so um the customs officer there might ask you questions about things that you're carrying and stuff so remember that you're not supposed to carry certain things like fruits and you know plants and um other dangerous items because um it happened with uh, my um family member once like uh, my cousin that uh, he was coming from india to us and then her uh, mom actually um it was few years back though but it was at that time also it was not allowed to carry fruits or plants and then they had a plant and then they uh, they obviously uh, the customs officer saw it um, and then he was like literally banned from that uh, flight for uh, from that airlines forever you don't want that and you also don't want to get stuck there on your first day in the US so avoid those items not avoid I mean it's a strict no no don't carry any of those items that are not allowed and then welcome to the United States that's what probably they are also gonna tell you um, and um, and then yeah you're free and then you go out and you can call your family from you know like the um the public booths there are a lot of them at uh, at the airport or else whatsapp ki jai ho you can just you know like use the free wi-fi that's there at the airport and you know like call your family and everything and all the best 